Good Thursday evening, everyone. Most areas stayed dry for today. Saw a few small showers, but it was a very warm and humid afternoon. Here's Sky 5 in Westlaco. It is mostly sunny, and we've got temperatures currently in the 80s and 90s. It was in the upper 90s in Rio Grande City. Right now, 92 in McAllen, 91 in Harlingen, and in Brownsville, and 85 degrees on the island. So the flood warnings, the aerial flood warnings, do continue for parts of the Valley Hill at least 8 o'clock this evening. Aerial flood warning continues for southwestern Wilson County, West Central Cameron County and southeastern Hidalgo County until 8 p.m. tonight. And that's because we still have a lot of standing water and flooded areas. So I ask you, please, please, please avoid driving into flooded areas. Turn around. Don't drown. Obviously, other areas in the valley seeing flooded roads still because of the rains from Hannah. Here are the winds. we got winds out of the southeast to south between 17 to 22 miles. Now gusting to 22 to 25 miles an hour in Edinburgh and Port Isabel. You can always get your forecast on the KRGV weather app. We're going to start off very warm this evening with temperatures in the lower 80s at 8 p.m. We'll see partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies later on tonight, down to 79 degrees at 2 a.m., 77 at 6 o'clock in the morning, and then partly cloudy 8 o'clock tomorrow morning with temperatures in the upper 70s. It's mainly dry for tomorrow. We'll put in small rain chances for the weekend. Meanwhile, here's a look at the tropics. Here is Tropical Storm Isaias over the Dominican Republic. There's a satellite picture looking more well-defined and more organized the center emerging uh, toward the uh, north. You can see a lot of uh, thunderstorms convection with Isaias. And now the Hurricane Center does call for Isaias to become a hurricane by this weekend, perhaps a Category 1 hurricane. Here are the latest numbers. Maximum winds are 60 miles per hour. The center is located 155 miles to the west-northwest of Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic, moving fast to the northwest at 20 miles an hour. You see the orange. Those are tropical storm warnings for the Bahamas as well as parts of the Dominican Republic. And then here's that orange outline. That is a tropical storm watch from Sebastian Inlet, Florida, east coast, all the way down to the Upper Keys Ocean Reef of Florida uh, in South Florida and the Florida Keys. So here is the forecast track, the official track from the Hurricane Center. You notice it's very thin, and that's because the forecast models pretty much agree on the track on Isaias. So here's the forecast moving to the northwest. You notice now that one, the Hurricane Center now thinks that Isaias becomes a hurricane either tomorrow or tomorrow night. That forecast track takes it over the Bahamas and very close to Florida. So in any case, it's most likely if this track does hold that Florida will see some effects of uh, wind and rain, maybe even hurricane force winds, at least tropical storm force winds from Isaias for this weekend. And of course, the Bahamas don't need any more trouble after going through Dorian last year. Year, but unfortunately, this is the official forecast track. Could change a bit, but this is what it looks like right now for uh, tonight into the next couple of days. Then Isaias is forecast to move toward the north and then toward the northeast, speeding off to the northeast and uh, could most likely affect the east coast of the U.S. for next week. Now, here are the computer models, the spaghetti models. Again, they agree very much so. A couple of outliers over South Florida, but most of them agree on at this point threading the needle between the Bahamas and uh, Florida for tomorrow into the week. Weekend, then off to the northeast. Coming up at 6.30, I'll show you why Isaias is not a threat here in the valley. Again, big, uh, that's the big story here. The key words, Isaias is not a threat to the valley. For us, it's mainly dry for tonight. Watch out for some patchy overnight fog in the ranch lands. Tomorrow, it's mainly dry. This model probably overdoing it. Only about a 10% chance of a shower. In any case, it's going to be hot and humid with high temperatures in the mid-90s. Now, as a big trough of low pressure starts to dig into Texas, that may give us a slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms here in the valley Saturday and Sunday. So we're just going to put in a slight chance for some spotty thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday. Uh, most areas should stay dry, but we expect that heat to continue with highs in the 90s. So we'll put in a 10% chance of a shower tomorrow and then a 20% chance of some showers and thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday, only about a 10 to 20% chance of rain next week. Lows tonight, mid to upper 70s with lower 80s on the island. Watch out for some patchy fog overnight in the ranch lands tomorrow. Again, hot, humid, breezy, partly cloudy, just a 10% chance of a shower. Upper 90s tomorrow, Rio Grande City. We're in the low to mid 90s elsewhere with upper 80s on the island. Here's your first warm five AccuWeather seven day forecast. High temperatures are in the mid 90s for Saturday and for Sunday. Maybe a spotty storm both days. Mid 90s continue Monday and Tuesday, mainly dry. And then perhaps lower 90s for next Wednesday and Thursday with a slight chance for some spotty thunderstorms. That is your first warm five AccuWeather forecast.